information will help you make informed decisions about your health. So don't forget to join me here at 11 a.m. Thursday. It's news you can use from Ocala Health, Strive, and your friends here at WOCA. 25 minutes before 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in this Tuesday morning. Uh, and thank you for your calls regarding the tickets to Mary Poppins. I, I didn't carry on a whole lot about it, but you were paying attention. So <laughs> we had a few callers and only one winner, of course. So uh, for those who didn't win, remember that we are giving away more tickets, uh, two more to be specific, uh, at about 11.45 during the Fun with Joe game that we do. So you'll have to... But the difference between giving away right now and giving away then is that if you win the two tickets at during Fun With Joe, you get a lot of other prizes, too. Yes, you do. There's like $100 worth of prizes in, yeah. that, in that game. I don't know how many of you pay attention to what we do just before noon with Joe Martone. Mm -hmm. It's fun. That's why it's called Fun With Joe. <laughs> uh, there is a, a, a ribbon cutting today. It is a, a, a maid service called Maid to Sparkle Cleaning Services. Uh, and the ribbon cutting will be at 4.30 this afternoon. The address is 960 Southwest 6th Avenue. 960 Southwest 6th Avenue. Maid to Sparkle Cleaning Services.com is their website. Their phone number is 426-0663. Go celebrate the opening of a new business. Yep. Actually, they have one in the villages, right? Yes, you said? They do. Okay. Um, so that's this afternoon at 430. Remember that if you have a business and you would like to have a ribbon cutting that is part of the Ocala Marion County Chamber and Economic Partnership, formerly known as the Chamber of Commerce. Yes. Uh, it's real easy to just do this. Uh, you, you become a member of the, uh, what, do, what do you call it for short, CEP? Yes. That's, that's the initials of the new thing. Which is not new at all. It's been around for no. a couple of years already. But yeah, it's been around. A lot of people still years. say Chamber of Commerce. But th the point is, you become a member, and you can have a ribbon cutting. And, of course, we will announce it and uh, help send some people your way. And, you know, you don't have to have a new business to have a ribbon cutting. You can have a new thing, like a new, let's say you have a bakery, and you got a new line of donuts. Mm -hmm. You know, you can have a ribbon cutting to celebrate that. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, a new line of donuts. I know, I know. Now, why did that come to mind? Of all things, I could have thought of. <laughs> well, Ashley works at uh, uh, Walmart now, and she's in the bakery department. She was the in intern <laughs> for that too. Tom and Buddy show, so that's what she's doing, and she's having such a good time over there. Oh, no, wrong Ashley. I think, I think you're thinking of a different Ashley. <laughs> Okay. All right. I have to go back and look Unless again. There's two then. Ashleys. Okay. I have to go back and look again. I'm sorry. It's we'll okay. It's okay. Pretend I didn't say anything, and then I'll go back and look. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Gosh, what do we want to talk about? Oh, here's here's something I wanted to mention first of all. Jack Larson died. Do you remember who Jack Larson was? Uh, the Garfield. No, oh no, this is Jimmy Olsen on t on Superman. Oh, okay. Remember the young guy, Jack Larson? Oh, yeah, on on the TV series. The TV series Superman. Yeah. He was uh he, he was uh Jimmy Olsen. He was 87 years old. Jack Larson had a long career as a playwright and a librettist. Oh my gosh. Uh but is perhaps best remembered for playing the uh, Daily Planet photographer Jimmy Olsen in the TV show The Adventures of Superman. Mhm. Mm he died Sunday. Oh. Uh, according to his friend How Alan Howard, he died peacefully in his sleep at his home in Brentwood, California, with his dog at his side. Uh huh. Oh my gosh. He had no immediate family. He was gay. Did you know that? I didn't know that till just now. Till you said his friend. Well, I don't know if that friend was his gay friend. I I, I knew this because when I did th when I looked him up, uh, uh -huh. another name came up: James Bridges, who died in 1993. I guess he was his male companion until 1993. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know about this other guy, Alan Howard. But anyway. I liked him. I thought he was really, really, you know, he was fun in the series. And to be a playwright and a uh, librettist, I think that's pretty So cool. when he was Superman, he said uh, fame was overwhelming. He was in his mid-20s when he was in Superman. He said riding the subway was a nightmare. He was asked to leave a restaurant because a crowd formed outside and police had to help him escape. Oh, my gosh. Because he was famous as Jimmy Olsen. Isn't that something? He said, my life turned upside down. This was not my idea of a good experience. He suffered from anxiety and refused to do publicity. Well, he applied for the job, and he got it. I just don't understand. Eh, yeah, you know? but you got to okay, you gotta remember, mm -hmm. when TV was new, nobody really knew the power of TV. Nobody really knew the power of celebrity. In fact, the celebrity was kind of a new thing. Well, not really. That's kind of a dumb thing to say, isn't it? 
Yeah, I was saying. But, but, so, but celebrity simply by being seen on a box was a new mm-hmm. thing. Put it that way. I mean, in order to be a celebrity, you had to really have had a, a lot of accomplishments. I mean, simply being on a TV show, okay, it's not really a whole lot of an accomplishment. You just lucked out. You got a role. Not to say that he was bad at it. He was really good at yeah, it. Yeah, he matter was. Fact. He was very good. But my point is that before radio and TV, you could be a celebrity pretty much only if you like were an elected official mm-hmm. or, or you were a very, very popular author. Yeah. Um, there wasn't a whole lot, or maybe an actor on a stage in a big city, mm-hmm. you know, where lots of people would see you. Yeah. But so, oh, no, that's right. But instant celebrity is a, is a byproduct of TV mm-hmm. and radio, but mostly TV, I think. Oh, that's a good thing to point out. I stand corrected. Uh, he, he came to terms with his fame later on in life. He had winking roles in Superboy, Lois and Clark, and the film Superman Returns. I do remember that. So, so did... Uh, the lady who played Lois Lane, remember she had a, 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 cameo, a cameo? Yep, Noelle Neal. Yep, she was the mom on the train. He uh, established himself as Jack Larson, the playwright, instead of always being known mm-hmm. as Jimmy Olsen. Um, he wrote The Candied House in 1966. He wrote The Astronaut's Tale in 1998. He also produced a few films, a number of which were directed by his longtime partner, James Bridges, the guy I was just telling you about. Mm-hmm. They included 1984's Mike's Murder, 1985's Perfect, and 1988's Bright Lights, Big City. Wow. Those are heavy films. But anyway, I mean, this is the guy that was, uh, what what was he always saying in Lois Lane? Lois. He was always calling Lois. Yeah. Yeah. He was always calling because he was, you know. But he was gay. See, I I thought he had a thing for Lois. Yeah, I did too. (laughs) I did too. I thought you know. Yeah, All right, I don't know which one to do first. Let's do this one since it seems to have pushed a button with you. Over the weekend, women began to share their personal stories about getting abortions on social media using the hashtag ShoutYourAbortion. And they were basically saying that it was the right thing for them to do. Um, here's one that was tweeted. She, she wrote, 18 and broke and pregnant equals bad. Abortion plus three years later, plus married, plus stable job equals great life for my baby. She's happy that she had an abortion when she did and waited to have a baby because now she's better p- p- positioned to take care of that baby. That's, well, her, that's her opinion. She could have done that, too. She could have carried the baby full term and then given it up for adoption. Uh, let's see. Instead uh, of murdering it. Let's see. This whole thing started from this post from a lady named Amelia Bonow in... Uh, Seattle, Washington. She wrote, Hi guys, like a year ago, I had an abortion at the Planned Parenthood on Madison Avenue, and I remember this experience with a nearly inexpressible level of gratitude. I would tell you all about the exceptional level of care I received from every single woman at the clinic on that day, but I'm going to wait because I wrote something which I will share down the road in conjunction with the project that Kimberly Morrison and I are working on. I don't know who Kimberly Morrison is. No. I am telling you th- this today because the narrative of those working to defund Planned Parenthood relies on the assumption that abortion is still something to be whispered about. Plenty of people still believe that on some level, if you are a good woman, abortion is a choice which should be accompanied by some level of sadness, shame, or regret. But you know what? I have a good heart, and having an abortion made me happy in a totally unqualified way. Why wouldn't I be happy that I was not forced to become a mother? That's what she wrote. She's selfish. And so a lot of people were uh, jumping onto that and uh, doing this thing with the hashtag. What was it again? Hashtag. She could have made somebody sh- else happy instead of just herself. Shout your abortion. The baby and adopting it out, adopting that baby out. Uh, She's selfish. Other people tweeted, uh, I've had two abortions. I don't have to justify oh. or explain them to anybody. My life is more valuable than a potential life. Mm. Again. My life is more valuable than a potential life. Adoption. Nine months. Just give your baby nine months to live, and then you'll be done with the baby and be on your merry way. Uh, another one said, I had an abortion nine years ago. I don't regret it ever. Another one wrote, ex-partner of four, four years forced me into two abortions. Yeah, yeah, right. My life is better now, but only through the support of PP, which is Planned Parenthood. Nobody can force you to have an abortion. Somebody else wrote, my abortion was in 07. I didn't want kids then and still don't. I'm managing my own wellness. Well, then get fixed. Anyway, oh. there's other things oh. to talk about, but I, I thought this was an interesting story. An interesting... I, this doesn't even come close 
to countering the debate that the people who are uh, reporting on the sale of baby parts are making. Mm -hmm. I think it's a much stronger argument. We'll be right back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. It'll be partly sunny today with a high of 85 to 89, then partly cloudy tonight. There may be a shower in spots along the coast, below 70 to 74. For tomorrow, times of clouds and sun with a passing thunderstorm in the afternoon, high 85 to 87. On Thursday, times of clouds and sun with a shower or thunderstorm, high 84 to 88. The Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Chip, I know we made believers out of those who thought there was no such thing as a free ride. No interest on most new Fords for 72 months? Well, Ford Lincoln of Ocala and Village Ford of Bellevue is sweetening that terrific deal even more. Really? How about free fuel for a year? Free fuel for a year? Simply visit FordofOcala.com or MyVillageFord.com, schedule a test drive of any vehicle on the lot, and you become automatically eligible to be chosen to receive free fuel for a year. That's just another great reason to shop for your next car, truck, SUV, or crossover at Ford Lincoln of Ocala or Village. Ford of Bellevue. Aside from being eligible to receive free fuel for a year, the very best reason to buy from Ford Lincoln of Ocala or Village Ford of Bellevue is the service, the selection, and of course, the price. That's right. You don't have to wait for a holiday or, quote, sales event at Ford Lincoln of Ocala or Village Ford of Bellevue. Every day's a sale day. Where have I heard that before? Fuel for a year eligibility requires valid license driver over 21. One entry per person per household must complete test drive. Fuel for a year winner will receive preset amount of $1,200 in the form of a service station debit card. See deal for complete details. If you're anything like I was, the thought of getting older was the last thing on your mind. But here we are. For me, it started slowly. The lack of energy. Never being in the mood. And when I was, I could never perform at my best. I tried the pills and other treatments with minimal results. And all but given up on my sex life. Then, I found the doctors at New Mayo Medical.